Uh, today, I want to give you, just to tell you, to give you more information about Azola and Dockwood. For those of you who have gotten from me, because I normally tell you many ways of you fertilizing your water before you introduce your Azola or Dockwood. And a lot of people have been doing it and they have been getting it right. This is a farm that we put. And when we put it into this farm, this is just the water. The water here is just water for the fishes. So we didn't put any manure at all. But what we did is that when we introduced it to this farm, so when we put the azola, some azola in there, and we put some duckweed. So between a week or like five days, everything dies. Mm. Everything will like it is mm. and they start reculturing. So this is a process of reculturing, as you can see. This is a process of reculture. That means they are infant, the baby. Azola and dog with is coming out. So this is the process of uh, the coral sharding. So I'm just giving you a tip or an expo on how you can know if your Azola or duckweed have started recalcuring. So this does not need any headache. This does not need you to go any extra mile of getting it right. And we have a lot of testimonies from those that we have sold it for and they have been doing perfectly and some people that we sold for and those that do not prepare their pond well i will tell you by the time you introduce the cultured azola into that pond this it may seems like is drying off later it will peak so once it peaks this is what you start getting and once you started getting this color you will start noticing that the tips of the azola start turning white so once the tips of the azola start turning white it's telling you it's getting matured later it will turn to brown so when it turns to brown it tells you it's fully matured but i don't know maybe you can wait till when it is brown before you can use it to feed your fishes directly as a live food or you can mix it with your concentrated feed to produce your own feed formulation for your fishes. And as I told you, the benefit of Azula and Dogweed is that these are very rich in lots of minerals. These are very rich in lots of minerals and these are rich in what we call a digestible crude protein. So with this, you can introduce this directly for your fishes and you can use it to formulate a very good food. Formulating a very good food means where you should be using maize, where you should be using spaghetti, where you should be using flour, you can use this for heat and this will balance your feet. So that is the introduction I will just give you today. So once again, my name is Tillyman. So if you are, want to culture all this, this is how you are going to run it. So once again, my name is Tillyman Odutola, it's Abiyo DTM, your great anchor on this channel. And I told you once again, you can put it anywhere since the water is greenish. You can see, once your water is greenish. So these have started reculturing. These have started reculturing. By the time I will show you this in a week's time, this might have filled all this pond. In a week's time, all this pond will be filled because about three days ago, we just have a few of it here. So in another like five to six days, all this pond will be filled up. So once again, if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure that you do that. If you are not like and share, do that now. I'm press on the notion, but it will tell you when I release new videos on this channel. So once again, thank you and God bless you.